Hey, I'm Ben from JLab Audio, and today I'm going to take you through our Talk Pro USB microphone. The Talk Pro comes with four directional patterns and three condensers, and a crazy 192 kilohertz sample rate and 24 bit depth rate. It is an awesome Pro microphone, and it's going to handle all of your needs. All right, we'll go ahead and open this up. It's going to have everything that you need inside. Tripod legs come with a 5 8 mount that screws right into the bottom here. You can also use a boom mount with this, anything that fits. And we just pull out the legs. And you can also adjust uh, the screws on the side here. You could take it off to mount it, uh, kind of like a, a radio mic. Um, but it swivels, we can adjust and tighten so that we can get that exactly where we wanted, and then tighten it up as you need. All that's left is this box that comes with a quick start guide, which is gonna cover some more on what we're talking about today and anything else that you may need. And the cable, it's a USB-C to USB-A braided cable. Super long, so really great if you're doing some uh, music studio recording, it's gonna reach wherever you need to. All you have to do is plug it into the computer, plug it into the bottom here, you see, we're powered up and ready to go. So the Talk Pro comes with four directional patterns and to toggle between those, all you do is push the JLab icon right here. You'll see toggle through. So we can go from cardioid to stereo, to bi-directional, omnidirectional, and back to cardioid. So cardioid is just coming from one direction, uh, which is great for things like voiceover. When you're using cardioid, you want this side to be facing you. If you are looking at the knobs, you're using it backwards. Stereo is great for things like a music recording. You're gonna be using a left and a right channel. Bi-directional is great for something like an interview. It's gonna capture sound on both sides of the mic. And then omnidirectional is good for something like a conference call where you're gonna have people all around it. And you have volume and gain control on the back side with these knobs right here. So you have gain on the top, volume on the bottom. So when you adjust the gain, you'll see on the LED screen, uh, the green light up, up and down, super easy to use. So the gain is the actual input of the sound into the microphone. So if you're peaking uh, in your recording, you wanna turn the gain down. If it's sounding too low, turn the gain back up. And then the volume is going to change the LED screen to blue. That's when you have headphones plugged into the mic and you're monitoring with those headphones. So you plug into the headphone jack and then you can hear what's coming through the microphone and you can turn that volume up and down with this knob right here. Again, all you do for that on the bottom, plug into the headphone jack. And now I can hear myself through the headphones. I can hear what's coming through the microphone and I can turn that up and down. Also on the Talk Pro on the bottom, hold this button down here. and it turns on the LED on the bottom, which you can then toggle through different colors. So you can turn it to, from red to green, uh, purple, blue. You can just have some fun with it and customize the microphone to whatever color you want. And if you wanna turn that off again, you can just hold it, hold that button down, turns the light off, everything else is still working. Uh, you're just turning the, the light on the bottom on or off. You also see on the bottom, um, another 5 8 mount. So you have the one on the base here, but if you want to take that off, you could just unscrew here and plug in, again, um, like a boom mount or anything you want directly to the bottom of this mic. And the last button is the mute button, it has a quick mute button, just like the other Talk Series microphones. Uh, that's right here. See, it's green when it is live. Press it. Red means you're muted and we just press it again and you're back to recording. So the Talk Pro doesn't need any plugins, no software, no apps required to get it working on your device. All you have to do is plug it in and you're ready to go. It works with Windows, Mac, Linux. It works with every recording program uh, that you could have on there and we're gonna walk you through how to make sure that you're using your microphone's input on some of those apps. Uh, so I have a Mac here. What you wanna do is go to System Preferences sound and you'll see it's currently on internal microphone and we want to change that to 
uh, microphone. That'll be our Talk Pro microphone. And now the computer is all set up to use the Talk Pro. If you have a PC and you're running Windows, then you're gonna go to the Start menu, go to Settings in the Control Panel, and then you're gonna go to System, and then select Sound. And then all you have to do is change the output and the input device to the JLab Talk Pro. At JLab, we use Microsoft Teams. Uh, and if you want to use the mic when you're doing a call there, super easy. Let's say we're, we're joining um, a call right now. We would just bring that window up. You'll see our microphone here. We would go to internal mic and speakers. And under microphone, you would change that to microphone. That's our Talk Pro. Um, and if you wanted to be monitoring, if you wanted headphones on plugged into the mic, we would change the speaker to headphone, which is um, the headphone jack on the Talk Pro. If you're using something like Adobe Audition, which is what I use uh, all the time for my voice recordings, we just go into Adobe Audition preferences, go to audio hardware, and then change the device input and output from built in to microphone, yes, I want to use it, and headphone. Um, so that's now our Talk Pro being used as the input and output, and you're ready to record with the Talk Pro. And again, we can adjust uh, the, the gain. That's going to adjust the amount of volume that your microphone is inputting into your recording. So if we turn that all the way down, you'll see our recording super low. Turn the gain up and we get those waves back. And again, you could adjust uh, your headphone volume if you have headphones on, if you're monitoring. And all we have to do, if we want it to toggle through the directions. Again, we just push the JLab icon on the bottom. We're gonna toggle through. And if we wanted to mute, again, it's green. The quick mute button is green. That means we're recording. Just do a press, quick press there. It turns red and you'll see that there is nothing happening on the recording. Just push that again. It turns green and we're back to having full volume. If you're using GarageBand, I've just opened it up and you'll see automatically a little window that pops up that says, do you want to use the audio device headphone? Yes, I do. If not, we just go to GarageBand Preferences, uh, Audio MIDI, and we'll see our output device and input device. And we will change that to our microphone, our Talk Pro. And then we're all set up to record on GarageBand. And that's everything for our Talk Pro USB microphone. Uh, amazing professional studio quality sound. Really easy and simple to use, convenient to take with you. If you guys have any other questions, go ahead, leave them in the comments below. We'll get those answered for you. If you're having any other issues, reach out to our customer support. They're always there to help. And as always, tag us at JLab Audio and show us how you go.